is that? Think me there. Okay, that is you. Gorilla, animal, Coco Love. Okay, that's very good. That is you. You are a lovely animal. Delicious. When Penny Patterson and Coco, a western lowland gorilla, met nearly 30 years ago, neither had any idea they would become friends for life. In the long history of human-animal relationships, their story is one of the most fascinating. It is the true tale of a young woman and a gentle giant walking hand in hand into a whole new world of understanding. They couldn't have known that their intimate friendship would shatter century-old stereotypes and change forever our outlook of both gorillas and ourselves. Penny describes her friend with gentle honesty and affection. Coco's about five feet tall. She weighs roughly 300 pounds. A little heavy for a female. The average is 250. She's a big female gorilla. Coco has a, a very strong sense of self. She um, feels she's important. She's got a strong ego. She's playful, very, can be very silly. A quick, a quick spin, a quick, a really quick spin, and then once you're good and dizzy, <laughs> send you off. She's got a good sense of humor. Oh no! A monster! A monster coming to get the alligator! <laughs> she can be very stubborn, uh, very willful. Finish! You are not finished! <laughs> you are not finished! You are not finished! You didn't do the work, I asked. Please pick those up. Coco, you are very good at that. Please pick them up. Their now. relationship is like no other. Penny and Coco are the first human and gorilla to share a common language. Penny taught Coco to speak sign language. Play with them after you help. Okay? No, no, not fake. No. What? Their exchanges, their conversations were enchanting and quickly revealed the power language has to build a bridge between our species. Then you go and you bring those papers. You did, he was visiting you and bit. When I look into Coco's eyes, and other people have said this, that they're, they've changed forever, that there's an exchange of intellect and emotion that, that we get with another person. Coco is looking, peering into your eyes and questioning you and asking you and getting information from you, drawing you out. She can do that because she has sign language. By teaching Coco a language humans can understand, Penny armed Coco with a powerful tool that allowed her to speak as an ambassador on behalf of her endangered species. Astonishingly, Coco is willing to provide us a window into her life, her mind, and her heart. Who could have imagined that a gorilla could fall in love with a kitten, search for a mate, and yearn to be a mother? She has challenged us to acknowledge that we share this world with other intelligent animals. There is very little difference. Genetically, it's what, 2%, something like that. When I tell people that we have the same number of hairs per square inch as great apes, they go, no, that's impossible. Or that we have the same blood types. Oh, come on, you know, that's not right. But it's all true.